Hello, welcome back to Battletech and today we're going to conduct uh, another story mission uh, but I've got some bad news. The bad news of course is that uh, Decker has lost a leg. Uh, what I actually mean is Decker lost the, mech, the leg of his mech, the spider, in the last mission. Um, Decker himself got injured but I'm not worried about that. He's going to be out for the next uh, couple of weeks. Uh, Yang's had his uh, work cut out putting the leg back on and it did cost me something north of uh, 30,000 sea bills to do that, which I'm not very happy about. Uh, but then again, if Decker is going to continue to put himself in arm's reach of heavier mechs, then he's going to get punched in the face uh, regularly. So, what do you mean that's my fault? Well, yes, yes, I suppose it is. Lesson learned, lesson learned. And um, But what it means for this mission is that we've... Uh, We've brought Medusa into the folds to uh, stick him in the lightest of the mechs. Um, not the Locust, don't be silly. I've repaired the spider, so we'll put him in that. Anyway, um, the priority mission here is uh, Axelus, where we're going to travel to Alloway and uh, go to Axelus. Okay. Several hours later in, in uncharted space. That was one hell of a rough ride. My stomach is still doing somersaults. That's because those crazy bastards use a pirate point to get us here. If we'd suffered a misjump, a sour stomach would be the least of your concerns. The leopard could have gotten irreparably mangled. Hell, we could have been irreparably mangled. Cautionary hollow vids they showed us at the academy were the stuff of nightmares. Hmm. I'm sure they were, but we're fine. Save your concern for the job ahead. Just let the cat out of the room. You heard the commander. Stow the complaints and pay attention. We have a job to discuss. The grainy map of a barren moon. Section highlighted in white. The Argos crash site is here, smack dab in the middle of a pirate stronghold. The ship, the stronghold, and everything around it belongs to a soft, styled bandit queen called Grim Sybil. Her gang is the closest thing that Axelus has to a ruling council. Grim Sybil? Is that supposed to be scary? It sounds like the kind of name you'd choose out of a hat. What do their defences look like? They're patchy at best. I don't think the Axelus gets a lot of visitors. They have strong anti-air cover, but little in the way of ground-based defences. I'm seeing a lot of vehicles, but battle mech activity looks light. Best, do you have anything more than just light, Darius? I can't put an exact number on it. I expect the pirates to be able to field a full lance of light battle mechs, all of them in poor repair. Something bigger, Grim Sybil's mech. Okay, vehicles, turrets and a few battle mechs. Got it. Keep going. The entire structure is surrounded by radar-guided anti-aircraft guns. First task, take them down. After you've secured crash site, She'll dock with the Argo, drop off the engineering team. And then they'll miraculously get a 200-year-old wreck flying again. Lady Centrella has bet a massive stack of sea bills that they will. For what it's worth, I believe her chief engineer can pull this off. I'd never heard of Dr. Farah Murad before Lady Centrella mentioned her. I did some digging after our meeting. She was telling the truth. The dock has quite a reputation. It's supposed to be some kind of frontier engineering wunderkid and a genius at being dead, bringing dead ships back to life. We'll see. I wouldn't expect to find a really top-notch engineer this far outside of League Space. Hopefully Dr. Murad will define that particular stereotype. We'll find out one way or another soon enough. Good hunting, James. I'll be keeping an eye out from you from up here. Yeah, stay safe, Darius. <sighs> Wait. Here are our uh, mechs again, and this time we're going to pop Medusa in the spider. Now, I've just kitted him out with um, sure footing to get the uh, bonus uh, in terms of evasion. Uh, unfortunately, he doesn't have sensor lock, but uh, we're just going to have to run without that, I'm afraid. Loading, loading, loading. Ataxilus loading. Right, radar towers, Argo crash site, defence. 
one and a half skulls. Priority mission. I haven't been able to uh, negotiate this, so this is what we get. But 1.1 million sea bills. Not too bad. Three bits of premium salvage. I'm looking forward to it. I'm actually quite excited. This is going to be good. Right. Every bit of charming as you'd expect. Grim Sibyl's radar stations are just ahead. Defences appear to be limited to turrets and vehicles. Pirates turrets, but there is a turret generator. And then the Argo here in the background. Okay. can't actually hear that. Is there a problem with the sound? Hmm. Well, we'll give it a go. Hold on a second. I'm going to um, pause the recording and see if I'll adjust the... I'm uh, back. And uh, that doesn't bode very well. Um, I had my headphones plugged in, so I didn't actually can't actually hear what's going on. Okay, we're in the corner of a map here. Let's have a look around. It's got big mounts in here. Some kind of structure. And a choke point. Here's the turret generator over here on the right hand side. There's one route round here. It looks like the main road up here. We've got turrets over here. There's a second turret generator over here. So I could swing left and approach from this side and maybe jump over the top and take this turret generator out. I get some good high ground over here, although whether this can be reached by some of my jumping mechs, I don't know. And we'll then look into this bowl. I don't think I've ever gone that route before. I usually go this way, around this side. And then hop over, destroy the turrets, destroy the defence teams over here, and then come back and finish that one on. I'm going to try it a different way this time. Why not? So we're going to pull everybody far, ooh, far left. Okay, so we have a turret on the sensors. It's quite a long way away though, so I'm not too worried about it. What I could do is just get some uh, visibility, get some eyes on. And then uh, let my long range fire take it out. So. No one else singing this. Wake up, you idiot. We've got company. But they're driving giant battle mechs. He can't fight again. Any more objections? Good. Get out there and fight. Moving out. Right, so glitch has eyes on here. Just check. Yeah, they only sink two thirds of their normal heat, so my mechs are going to get very hot very quickly, and they're not going to cool down that well. Just check this light laser turret. Medium lasers are the only things have any range. Um, we've got full armor here, uh, 90 points. Um, that's my maximum damage output here. So, um, with 85% chance to hit. Uh, I think what I might do is just hit it with the particle cannon. Uh -huh. And then maybe hit it with... Um, some auto cannons, but we should be able to do this without exposing ourselves to return fire. Oh, there is a vehicle there. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. So one turret down. Um. Ready for orders. What I could do that. Uh, vehicle is out of range 
I could just reserve uh, Behemoth, wait for that vehicle to come in or do something. Got it. Ow! Great start for Medusa, I mean even with all of his evasion and guarded stance, that large laser this is quite a heavy tank, actually. Large laser and twin SRM4s. That's um, that's not good. Standing by. Great start. Well done. So we could uh, jump over here. I'd probably prefer to walk if I could. And what have we got? Just the AC5. I don't mind. Okay. Structure exposed, perhaps some uh, LRMs on target might be good. Now I'm just going to pull. What do you need? Oh, that's a bad hit. Well, let's let's sprint him all the way around here. Right, so Jabberwock could just stand still. No, actually, we need uh, eyes on. Right, who's going to take point? Of course, it's Bear Moth is taking point. There's not going to be cover on this moon, so um, we'll just have to do what we can to um, stay safe. So we'll enable Vigilance, we'll stay as far back as we can. Move order received. What have we got here? Light laser turret, again medium lasers, but I don't think they're in range. So this is the primary threat um, and we're going to have a go at this. Firing all weapons. Okay, it's the Bulldog out of commission. Vehicle two more blips something took a shot at her there but um, I'm rather surprised the turret gives them uh, visibility which is kind of annoying but it also allows me to have a go at them so let's um, let's just step forward one and then um, see if we can get some auto cannon fire I know I could take out the turret generator, but just taking out these turrets one at a time from range is perfectly That's fine for me. Go. I'm uh, I'm happy, happy. Right, is there any way I can get some direct shot on? Yeah. You betcha. So I've got 47 left. If that PPC hits, that should be turret over. There we go. Bang! You're dead. Right. So. Yeah. What we could do is. Uh, ooh, what's that? So a radiation field bonus heat. Not keen on that. So um, what I'm going to do is just sprint over here. We'll get line of sight on the radar tower, which is one of our objectives. Um, build up a lot of evasion. But perhaps I would prefer to be on the opposite side of the mountain to the uh, vehicles. Let's go that way. Now I could, if I could jump over there, it'd be fun. Yes, commander. Right now. I could reserve until these guys come forward, or I could actually take a go at the uh, turret. I think I'm going to reserve. These are lighter vehicles. Scorpion tank. No dice. What's up, boss? So I want to regenerate my um, evasion pips. On my way. 
Right, the Scorpion tank, how badly are you? Only half normal armor. Let's see. Oh, it should be fine. It's no kill. Let's go, let's go. Like overkill. One more for the trash. Scorpion. Ooh. Okay, that was bad. No, it wasn't that bad glitch. Don't be so go. dramatic. I mean, look, you've got 10 points of armor left. What is your big problem? Coordinates received. Oh. Right, and off we go. Got it. Mover down. Mover. Mover down. I don't see. I uh, can't get my medium lasers on, so. Engaging target. Two more vehicles. Yes, Commander. Right, so. Jump up here. We'll get uh, eyes on the target. We've got quite some evasion. Oh. We've got a sensor trace. Yeah, that's another turret, I think. Locked on. Good job, that man. Right. Given I can all move, we've got. Uh, let's see. Good to go. Two vehicle um, targets, if I can get eyes on. Uh, I'm trying not to jump too much because um, that would just generate a lot of heat. I might have to just suffer from the uh, possible extra stability damage here. Got it. What have we got? Strikers. Uh, so I'm just going to take out the striker. One volley Locking should do it always. easily. Well, I say easily. Vehicle down. Sufficiently. A delicate sufficiency. Right. Waiting for orders. Right. You can get your LRMs on that chap. Might not be enough to totally. Got it. Um, I can rely on you to PPC that tower out of existence, hopefully. Here we go. Okay, I softened him up. Jaguar may well be able to close and finish him off. There we go. Ah, doom. It's kind of what Behemoth's there for. She must enjoy it. I mean, I'm here. Right. So, can I put? Can I put him in a place. How many hit points has that turret generator got? I don't know. The problem being, ah, well, I can get eyes on. That's where I want him to be. That's eyes on, but the turret can't see him. I'm Roger. happy with that. Now I can see this. A hundred hit points. Well, I can do forty here. Take it the shot. Um. Commander. Oh, I could melee that. Uh, Hmm. Uh, 
a 95% chance. That seems decent to me. Into it. There we go. Reporting. Enemy vehicle eliminated. Right. So we've just got this. Uh, we've got some good visibility actually up here. The tower. Well, we'll have a go at the. Um, you know, we're only going to do 50 damage to it. Assuming we hit both. But that means Glitch should be able to, uh... Commander? Split. Alright, if she... Get some, uh... Damage over here, if I can. On my way. Uh, time generator. Tower? Overheat. Okay. Roger that. Okay, there goes one set of turrets. Dramatic zoom. Standing by. All right. Now the destroyed building here provides cover, which is um, interesting. But um, where are we aiming for? Ah, here. Well, that's fine. But we first of all have to destroy this. So what I'm going to do. Um, can't get close, so uh, let's just hop him down anyway. Jumping. All right. Waiting for orders. You need to cool off, glitch. Um, let Jabwalk sort this out. I've got uh, fifteen lots of ammo for my AC twos. Um, so this is a bit of a waste of ammo if I do this. I don't know how long this mission is going to be. So uh, <coughs> we'll start moving forward. Orders. Aye aye. Uh, similarly, I don't really want to be wasting the ammo here. It's just going to take oh, It's just going to take too long to chew through it. Otherwise, Whee! good to go. Moving to position. Fire. Firing on target. There it goes. Brought it down, Commander. Good job. Right. Now we've got to secure the crash site. We're exiting combat. Okay. So that's uh... right, Commander. Oh, we've got a turret over there. Oh, crikey! That's embarrassing. Um. Receiving you. Don't really want to. Let Medusa get shot again. So I've got to pop him out of line of sight. Engaging jump jet. Right, and then brace. Oh, did structure damage to him? Oh, you. Right. Oh, that's the thing about these early missions. You get used to certain things. Receiving. Piloting assault mechs, and um, I've just forgotten what it's like. On my way. Target acquired. Just forgotten what it's like. Commander? Affirmative. Right. Roger that. Sensors impaired. And if one of these hits, it should be turret down. Engaging target. Right, good stuff. Target destroyed. 
Right, that should be the last of the defences. On the move. <coughs> right. So they want us to go in here. Coordinates received. Put Bayamoth up front. Moving to position. On it. Right. So Bermoth doesn't have any heat. Bracing for impact. The blackjack doesn't have any heat. Good for now. Cooling down a bit. The spider does, so we're just gonna cool. Don't seem to have a turn limit on this, so um I might just do a couple of rounds of bracing to get rid of the heat on the spider. And then when we're ready. What have we got up here? So this is the crash site that we need to be uh, securing. We've got a playground over here. We've got some uh, doorways where the defenders may well be coming from. This is going to be where the fight happens in this zone here, I suspect. So, get some decent places for shots in. This is very tall. I won't be able to shoot past that. Maybe put my long-range mechs up on top of this uh, control tower here. Um, might be able to get line of sight over the top there. Right? I'm going to go right here. Put a moth up front. Heading out. And uh, good to go. Got it. Got the two long-range mechs heading for that central tower. And I'm going to push the spider far out to the other flank. Dropship lands on the other side of the Argo. The commando team makes entry. Packages delivered, XO. I'm taking the leopard to a safe distance before the pirates can get their guns running again. Roger that, Mayor. Dr. Murad, your team is clear to enter the derelict. I hear you, Mr. Oliveira. We're making our way inside now. All right, people. You know what to do. Marines, clear the ship of pirates. With pleasure, Dr. Murad. Okay. There are seven reinforcing units, so we are going to be having fun and games. So let's just pop um, Bayamoth up front, that. see what we can see, and um, jump what can I get a nice firing position? Engaging jump jets. Got it. And. Um, just want the uh, spider to stay out of sight for the moment, but I'd love him to keep moving, just to get the kind of protection of evasion pips. Right, combat is on. Three lights staying out of line of sight here. Um, I'm in good defensive position, so I'd like them to move forward if I could. That is a Jenna. Light cavalry mech, lasers, and machine and um, SRMs. It's in poor state of repair. Only a quarter of its armor, which means that, wow, it's going to be really flimsy. So, I think to begin with, we're just going to give it some grief from range. Here we go. Oh, what? Oh, I thought that was landing on there. Okay, well, the chances to hit are not great, so I'm going to precision strike this, um, and we're just going to go for center torso. Got it. Did I not have our missile switch on? I'm making so many mistakes. It's unbelievable. <sighs> right, so... There's no cover here at all, so I'm going to build up 
some evasion if I can, but still get good shots on. So I'm going to pop on Vigilance. Move up here. Get shots on. Might as well Precision Strike. He's not got much health in the middle there anymore. We'll finish him off as soon as we can. Got vehicles. Okay. 65s. That's not too bad a shot for the AC2. Um, he's really not got much length. Uh, much left. I'm not going to be able to get in range here. I'm just going to swing him back to the other side for the moment. Coordinates received. And just brace that. Dr. Moran, the pirates have Alpha Squad pinned down in the Argos main hallway. Bravo Squad, Bravo Squad is holding the door to engineering. But you better hurry Very up. pleased. Sergeant, talk to me. Reserve here, I think. Um, Bearmoth's in a good defensive position. She's got the 40% damage reduction, um, so I'll keep her there. She's still got two pips of evasion. She'll take a bit of a pummeling, but as long as it's only armor damage, I really don't mind. And it's just going to bring the others um, further forward, allowing me to um, do my thing. Ooh, okay. You're not meant to shoot at the at the jabber. That's better. Okay, so we've got a couple of tanks. This is a lot of units, and you know I could pull back in the face of them and just lure the faster moving ones like the uh, Locust and the Jenna forward. Um, but I'm feeling quite confident, so um, probably overconfident. Yeah, probably overconfident. Commander? Right. Uh, you're on the ground. I didn't want you to be on the ground, but you're on the ground. So be it. Some good shots on that. Well, let's start taking these guys out. Um, I like the idea of splitting fire here, as long as I remember to do it properly. So. It's a 70% to hit with the PPC. And this has got so many holes in its armour, that'll be a good target for the LRMs. Gonna take her heat up a lot, but... Roger that. Dead. Dead. Enemy down. Okay. That's a good start. Uh, now this guy with his three dots of evasion is gonna be difficult to hit unless I can Reach melee him. Which I can! Okay, so, uh, where shall I go? Again, if I pop Vigilance on for her, that'll give her the defensive boost. I can encourage this guy to shoot at her. i popping her there. Besides on, her rear arc is relatively uh, protected. This guy's in her forward arc. Um, and if she hits with that melee, it could do serious issues with his... Or it could kill him in one go. Hope we can salvage that. Well, well, um, well done, well done, you. That was um, that was very good. Right, what have we got here? Eighty percent on the uh, scorpion. It's really not very good. So. Engaging target. It's vehicle down. I can't remember this fight being this easy before. This is this is um, this is ridiculous. Commander, right? You come forward and um, pop yourself there and brace. Doctor Murad, what's happening in there? Come in, Doctor. A little busy. The pirates are dead, but so are half of my engineers. 
So he's moved and that's fine. So Medusa's now in a position. I should be able to come around and get this guy from the back. On my way. Targeting for a physical attack. That's tasty. Tasty, tasty, very, very tasty. Yeah, I'm just going to melee these, this guy. I don't I think he's got much. Um, oh. <laughs> oh, uh, right, well, good job, everyone. That's five of seven. And um, we should have two more on the way. Let's get um, Behemoth um, up front. And Jabberwock, are you okay back now? I mean, it's, you're a long way away from the action, so let's, um, let's bring you forward a bit. And uh, glitch. Yeah, I'll bring you all the way around here. Right, Commander. And I'm just going to hide the spider, Confirmed. which sounds like a party game. We've got another Shadowhawk and a quick draw here. You think you're gonna steal my ship, you miserable little scrub? Nobody steals from Grim Sybil. I'm gonna carve you like a roasted pig. Uh, that's a big mech. Well, it's a heavy mech, yes, but it's not very good. It's in terrible condition. Concentrate your fire. Good advice. Uh, reserve. And reserve. Right, now we can move in. Ready for orders. Right, so tip of the spear. Vigilance enabled. That's just going and cause some damage. Copy that. Okay, so what we've got, we've got a 2H Shadowhawk, um, like I'm piloting, but probably with its pop gun weapons. Um, its armor is a bit better, 50%, but um, that still suffers from the fact it's got SRMs in its um, center torso. The quick draw is a, a potent war machine. It's a heavy mech with jump jets, um, very fast for its size, um, but it does have a relatively limited weapon load. Um, doesn't have any ammo in the center torso, but it does in the um, side torsos. Um, so if we can get some ammo explosions going, um, I'm gonna be quite happy. In the first instance, um, I think we're going to focus down this uh, Shadowhawk first. Or shall I? It's got more armor than the Quick Draw, and fewer weapons. All right, Quick Draw it is. She's in forty percent damage reduction. This is uh, annoying. Right, what can I? Uh, what shots can I get on? Well, we can just blast away with the uh, auto cannons for the moment. Death by a thousand cuts. Go on, glitch. You can do better than this. On my way. Heat, heat, heat. Oh, glitch! You missed the party cannon. Waiting for orders. How irritating! Right, Medusa, you'll come in here and just brace them. Okay, now it's on. Right, so. Standing by. Bear moth. Now you could go in for a brawl. I quite like that idea. I'll give you vigilance though. Okay, there goes the left arm. Inflicted some heavy damage. Yep, yep, yep. Heavy damage. Good to go. Now I could confuse them and just sprint him in. 
can only get up to. Uh, uh, I can get a shot actually. If he gets hit in that leg. So he's damaged in his left leg. So if I come here and turn him. So. I mean, I could turn him that far. I mean, if that leg comes off, he's going to be in trouble. Oh well, if he gets punched, he gets punched. Roger. That seemed a good trade. Yeah. Reporting internal damage. Rock 'em sock 'em. Right, glitch. Can you do a bit better with the party cannon this time. Affirmative. Oh. Overheat alerts. Am I going to take some structural damage just for the sake of it? No, you're going to hit with the particle cannon and you're going to like right, it. Commander. Right, better. The sensor's impaired. Debuff? If I can get a location to get my medium lasers in range, it's going to overheat this mech horribly quickly. Now I'm going to redline almost immediately. But I think this is going to be worth it. That one wasn't worth it. Okay, so um, Bearmoth is taking some punishment here. I'm going to hop her back, get get back into range combat. Ready for orders. <laughs> I could come in and uh, melee on that left hand side. What's she got left? Wow, she's not doing very well. Um, um, I think we're going to come around here and um, just see if we can chew off something. Position confirmed. Copy that. Receiving you. Right, Bearmoth, you are. Well, you've still got a lot of structure points in there. I'm pleased I've moved the um, ammo out of that location. Get in here. Right. <laughs> I just stripped her. Right. Uh, well, we've got 75. If everything hits, yeah. I could defang. I could take out the lerms. Lots of lasers in there. I'm going to go for this location and um, see how it goes. Hit the ammo as expected. Hit the head. She's in trouble. That was pants. But I don't mind. Right. You have tremendous heat problems now so we're going to have to take the medium lasers off and just go with an auto cannon shot <coughs> there goes the rest of the weapons still capable of melee so um, we're just going to have to see what we can do well what have we got? 45. If I hit her in the middle, she's gone. There's not much else to hit. And if I hit any of these already destroyed locations, damage will transfer in. But I'm going to have to do this with the Lerm. Got the head hit again. Critical hit, Commander. Yeah, she's just gone defensive. Medusa can probably take her out with a bit of melee. Is she facing? Which way is she facing? Well, I'll go from the side. Um, there she goes. <laughs> Good follow up, that man. Well done. Target eliminated. Yep, she's down. Ooh. 
Ooh, we lost one internal there. Armor blow through. Internal damage. Yeah, don't worry about it, Bermond. You're gonna be fine. Let's just check. Yeah, there was only a jump jet in there. You know, the rest of your armor is looking pretty solid, so I don't think you've yes, got anything commander. to worry about. In fact. Move order received. <laughs> yes, of course. Waiting for orders. Right, glitch. No, that's too far away. Right. Okay. Right. I can hit you in the middle with everything. Yay! If we hit that ammo in the center torso. That's a mech kill. No? Okay. How many lasers? No. Okay. Engaging target. Okay. Good uh good stuff taking out its uh, medium laser. Most weapons have two crit, um, so if they take a second one, they'll be destroyed. Commander. Yeah, I'm just going to keep punching this guy. I don't I see any reason it. why not. Bought the derelict. Acknowledged. Coordinates received. On my way. Okay, it's done. I can't believe it really worked. Right, ready. Celebrate later. This beast is going to fly. Mission successful. Let's now luxuriate. Oh, in the extra money. That mob did really well. Look at that. So, what do we have? Well, I'll take that because I've already got a piece of it. We'll take a bit of a quick draw because it's heavy. And I'll take the Shadow Hawk. And then, whatever you want to give me. Cheap, 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 cheap. Cutscene. Cutscene, ahoy! I love the music for this. It's just really good. Oh, I'm tired. I'm going to finish it off there and we'll go through some of this chitty chat dialogue uh, next time. Thanks for joining me on that first story mission. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon.